head. Ugh, rude. guys it's your girl cbk here aka tasha and today i thought we'd do another cooking video only this time it won't be like most cooking videos this cooking video is specifically for the people who are either very busy very lazy or feel like they cannot cook even a little bit so we're going to be making deep this chicken pot pie and it's I'm telling you guys it's like the easiest way to it's so easy I don't know about you guys I, I can cook I can cook I have no problem making things from scratch when I feel like it but I am busy sometimes and I am lazy sometimes so I also know how to put things together in the quickest and easiest ways taking every shortcut that is available because nowadays there are shortcuts for everything it's not really too much to say you might as well get on in the kitchen and get this video started first thing first we have to grab our ingredients so We're going to start by spraying some cooking spray into the pan. Easy peasy. Once the pan is nice and hot, you hear that? Yeah, you hear that sizzle. Going to dump in onions if you like onions. Ready to add the chicken. Awesome. Alright, as far as seasonings, the only thing I'm going to put in this is some parsley flakes. And dill weed. And some garlic powder. I try not to cook with salt as much anymore just because there's so much sodium and everything that you can cut some out, it helps. I mean, I grew up on seasonal. I, I, I love me some seasonal growing up. I, it was like Frank's Red Hot to me. I literally put that shit on everything. Like, seasonal went with everything. There was nothing that I did not put seasonal on. But, I, you know, you grow up, you realize certain things aren't good for you. And you kind of, if you're smart, you try to move away from those things. So, I, I don't add salt to a lot of things I cook. I feel the sodium that is enough sodium in the meal, in most meals, that I don't usually have to add. For example, there's already 25% of your daily intake of sodium and just in this chicken alone in one serving and that means you're supposed to eat one seventh of this bag and that will be 25% of your sodium intake and then you look at this 33% of this now with this that's about there's gonna be five servings of this and the pot pie and it's 33% per serving so then you still have sodium in the pie crust there's sodium in the cheese there's even sodium in the veggies not much but a little so you know I, I, I just don't think it's good to just pile on the salt if you can help it and I, I, I'm trying to be better it's not easy but I try I try so hard
Tamam. Evet, hadi. I got a both bags in its entirety. The second bag I'll probably just do like half. We'll see. Let me see what I'm working with. Added in about half of this other bag. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm I guess I exposed myself. I'm. I'm definitely filming in my pajamas right now. I mean, I'm cooking on my only day off, man. I'm trying to be comfortable. Okay, okay. I'm sorry if that offends you. I didn't stay cute for the cooking portion of this video but you know the jammies are kind of cute look at the little deers and the little trees it's kind of cute we are now ready for the cream of chicken soup plop that right on in it looks gross but i like it i think it tastes better than having the traditional gravy i made a last minute decision to add in some spinach because you know what i love me some spinach i can't lie I'm addicted to some spinach. I, I eat I eat spinach pretty much every day. <laughs> so yeah, I'm putting some in my pot pie this time. So let's stir it and see. Added the uh, added the cheese. I didn't add the whole bag because that was a whole pound of cheese, and um, don't think we need 16 servings of cheese in here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I, I could I could eat 16 servings of cheese in this pot pie, but you know, trying to be better, trying. I mean, I'm still adding cheese, so <laughs> not that much better, but you know. Not going to go too ham. I mean, I probably did go too ham. I'm, I'm just going to shut up. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Alright, normally I would, this is when I would say get yourself your pop. Your <laughs> normally this is when I say grab your pop pan and... A pack of pie crust and put your pie pie together, but they say the heck with that. He ain't for this little ass pie because I guess to him this was just too small. So he said, Get that shit out of here. And now we have this. He picked this out specifically. Gonna line this with some foil. Once your pan is lined, uh, you would spray it with some cooking spray. Normally, I would try to use the baking kind that has the flour, you know, right inside the spray. But, you know, I forgot that I didn't have that kind. So, I'm just going to use the good old Crisco butter that I just had last time. So, let's do that. Got one piece now. It's much easier if you use a regular pie, pie tin, honestly, but... You know, we gotta be extra, so let's do the other one. Got the second piece now, but but he a big boy, so we still we still need to do a little bit more work to get this the bottom crust right. Me. I'm trying to be healthier. Also me. Making deep dish cheesy chicken pot pie. Oh, it's gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to add the filling in now. Hold up. For the top, little bit. The filling has been added. It all fits so perfectly. I love it. <laughs> uh, if I would have used all the vegetables, it definitely wouldn't have fit. So, I'm glad I, 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 I withstand. So, now I'm going to go ahead and top this off. It's funny. I was watching my favorite YouTuber and she was doing a cooking video and she made chicken pot pie. And she's like, you know, sometimes I don't put the top crust on just to, you know, shed some calories, be healthier. Meanwhile, I'm over here double crust. 
It's so good though. The crust is the best part. I wasn't even mad at my boyfriend when he said he wanted double crust. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm just being a good girlfriend. I mean, I'm not doing it for me. I'm just my baby like double crust. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> The top layer has been added and as you can see I already started like folding up the edges so basically you just kind of grabbing the bottom and rolling it you know I can't really do it with one hand but basically you just, just making sure you seal it up tight so I'm gonna do the rest of the edges I folded up all the edges so now I'm just gonna try to like make it a little bit cute and make it a little bit more presentable you know you know make it more professional even though i'm far from a professional you know took every fucking shortcut there was to take <laughs> now i want to holler make it professional <laughs> ready to go in the oven with a little message on top i know i still gotta add the slits gotta add some slits in there so it'll breathe so let me do that i was just so excited i was so proud of myself CPK loves Phil. <laughs> now it's up and ready. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! <laughs> the completed chicken pot pie. Well, deep dish cheesy chicken pot pie. Shout out to Bay. Can't wait for you to come home so we can have our dinner together. Hope you enjoy it. And you're not working too hard right now. Love you, babe. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big like. If you enjoyed my content, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I upload, go ahead and ring that bell. I try to upload every Saturday, but I occasionally do extra videos. I did a Halloween video and I did a Thanksgiving video and I'll be going on vacation soon so I don't know I might go a little crazy and make a bunch of other videos so you might want to ring the bell if you want to know exactly when I upload. Other than that I will see you guys next time and just so you know I am still in the middle of the X of Kindness challenge and that has not gone away. There will still be a second video on that. So you have that to look forward to. And I really, really hope this encourages at least a couple people to do this next year. Because it's just so nice and so fun. It's so funny half the time you're giving the person a gift. And they just looking at you like, what? Do I know you? Why are you giving me this? What is going on? They're so confused. But at the same time, you can tell they're very grateful. Because they don't even know what it is. But they just feel like... That's so nice. And I'm like, that is so nice. My aunt is the best. She is the best. Because I would have never thought to do this. Honestly. I, I know this is probably not something new. It's probably something that been been done for years. But I honestly didn't know anything about it. And I honestly wouldn't have thought to do it on my own. So I'm so happy that she asked me to participate in this challenge. I am having fun. And, and I hope that it is something I can continue every year. Because... It's just nice. It's just something nice to do. But, anyway. Since yesterday was my youngest nephew's birthday, I would like you guys to help me wish him a happy birthday. Watch out, David! next time. Bye!